The Barbican Music Box is a box designed for young people to gain inspiration from so that they can compose their own music and particularly to write songs. Um, the material that's put in there, which is a whole range of things, is there to inspire um, the young people involved to come up with the ideas and then create their own work. There have been um, three mentors and between each of the mentors we've visited six different um, secondary schools in Hackney. The design of the box was based on a 1950s record player. The project has got this whole backstory about Alan Lomax and how he travelled around the world collecting music from all kinds of countries and places. He's a really interesting character, although he was born in Texas, I think, in Austin, obviously in a period of racial segregation. He was colourblind, he was equally interested in music from all kinds of places and uh, backgrounds, cultures, and he had that real kind of lodestone for kind of documenting uh, people's lives as they were lived and felt and experienced. And there's a kind of authenticity and honesty about a lot of the stuff that he captured that I thought really might resonate with young people who are obviously interested in their work, their lives and their environment and the pressures, so societal pressures that are on them. Each element in the box represents an element of the compositional process um, and can be used both practically but also uh, as, um, as a kind of trigger to explore another direction. given a box and it had like different sort of objects in it. There was a rock, it was a bag of rocks and it had like words in it so I just took a word, I think it said crumble and then I used that to kind of st structure my chord progression so it kind of broke down into pieces. See the way they walk on by. We were also given a tape um, so we put that into a cassette player so we sort of listened to that and I guess added that kind of vibe and that kind of feeling to our song and we also um, we also got our used our phones or anything we could to record something and when we were walking to school or walking home from school we recorded different voices from around us and we've also included that feeling into our piece and so we've got like a central theme which is just sort of like two parts of Hackney like the quite you could say posh side and then less posh, like the different voices that you hear. So we have like a spoken word piece and that is someone saying what she hears around her and how she feels. Because I dream about a life free of hate and judgmental people. You hear names like mine, your ears stumble across them and your eyes want to know no more. You take I've never worked with music before and like everyone was talking about like different G chords and, and I was like, I don't know what that means. But I think as we've gone through like many, many weeks and many, many hours practicing, you kind of learn like how to fit my words in with the tempo of the beat or like just working with the instruments to help just make everything kind of explode. I think the vocal part can be uh, malleable, you know, it can, it can change and react to the music. I've never made a piece of music myself before, like I'm in an orchestra and we're always just given the sheet music and they always have to like tell us how to play it but we've kind of told ourselves when but it's just been us and that's been really cool. There'll be sessions when you think you haven't got any ideas and that you can't compose anything and then there'll be other days when you're bursting with ideas and you just want to play the piano, you want to play the drum, you want to write down lyrics or you want to just play the guitar. Some things don't work and you learn that by doing them, but then some things sound great and you can only do that by putting yourself out there. So the end of the box, the end of the finale of the, of the project is around sharing everyone's work and the amazing opportunity to perform on the Barbican stage. 
That's such a rare opportunity, but something that the Barbican and the Guildhall really believe in about presenting everyone's music on such a, a worldwide international stage. Well, definitely nerves are there um, because it's such a big stage. I think uh, generally there's a real excitement about it and there's a real excitement about having your own piece of music there. Um, and it's such a great stage and it's really close to our school and where a lot of the kids live. I'm kind of nervous for the Barbican because um, normally when we perform for the school it's like in a group of like four or five but with the Barbican we're going to be performing with lots of people so it's going to be hard to like keep the beat and stuff. I think I'm kind of nervous about it because I've never like performed in front of a lot of people. You guys were on such an amazing path even when I came in last time. Just push on, push on and make the most of today and we can make something special happen on, on the 26th. Okay. I have memories of the important performance moments that happened to me when I was younger and yeah, they set, they, they, they stick with you. I'm a musician and I don't really get to perform in front of a big venue like that. I've never performed there so for them it's going to be really challenging but rewarding. That will be something that's going to be held in the heart for a long time.